Yeah. So box. Shot box time! Wow. <laughs> so, uh, am I still in shot? Probably. Not, I yeah, shot. Shot. Yeah, the shot, so. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just, yeah. So, <laughs> we're now about the same line. Yeah. The problem with wine is when you buy a, uh, a Cabernet or you buy a Merlot, they're always really wicked expensive. Mm. They're, right? You, If you buy a Tempranillo from Spain or Brazil or Australia or, um, or a Pinot Noir from Australia, you can get a Fucking fabulous wine for eight ninety nine. It, yeah, I was in Barcelona last week, and it's amazing. Just all the yeah. wine is so cheap, and, and you can really get good. that same stuff yeah. here, but no one buys it, so it's yeah. really cheap. If you just went out and stopped buying the Chardonnays and all that bullshit and buy something you've never heard of for like nine dollars, just because it's nine dollars doesn't make it shit. It no. just means that people don't know about it, and you're the first to discover it. Right. If you get a good Tempranillo with some like bacony flavor to it and stuff, you get some really good wines. They're very complicated, and there's a lot of variety. Uh, ice wines or German wines, not just Rieslings, but Gewürztraminer and everything. When you, that's what I'm I know. If you get into so, spirits, just you get the same problem. Pixar says, "I like cooking with wine." And I've heard a quote like, "I like cooking with wine." Then you just, sometimes you I even add to the food. You can add. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bottle down here, but it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. You know what I can't understand about New Year's Eve? All those people that they all huddle together in like Times Square and shit. Right? Mm. Fucking cold. You can't get out. You can't, yeah, you can't move. No. You're basically stuck in a group of people. How is that fun? Explain to me how it's a fun time to sit with a bunch of people you don't know. Go, all right, it's New Year. Now what do we do? We got to get out of here. How the if you ever get you out of a Dave Matthews concert? That are streaming by. So here's the deal. If I'm coming in from plowing, anything where I, I you really don't have to get to my high, I'm standing. I'm telling you, Trish, I get short of me. It's the fourth perspective. Like. Fourth perspective. I showed my kids that on YouTube last week. Um, if, if I am coming in from snow plowing or something where I just, I just got in and my muscles are sore, I probably had to shovel the driveway because, I don't know, Jennifer made me break her leg again this year. Um, <laughs> And you're just like, you're so just, I just gotta collapse. That's right, get that shovel. <laughs> just break your leg. Um, and I wanna collapse, I can collapse with this. Yeah. Right? I feel like I can sit down, it's got medicinal feel to it, it's got that honey getting in my throat, and I can feel it. I feel like I can yell louder right the now. The herbal is the Benedictine's book. Yes, the herbal. It feels like a curative drink. Yeah. Cure my spirits. Well, see, if you would have read the little blurb, that's what so, she was going with. Tanya's medicine. Yeah. Oh, I never said the name of the drink. This is the issue. Hot drinks, the alcohol rises up and it gets into your nasal passages. And I feel like <laughs> I don't want to smell the alcohol. I don't want it to be in my my nose holes. I want the drink for its flavor properties. And when I get the alcohol burning, like it feels more alcoholic than it really is. Yeah, that's what's great right? about it. I, if I want more alcohol than it really is, I'll just add more alcohol. Yeah, but you can get the effect without the... Just a little extra effect. dab will do ya! Oh yeah? Yankee Candles kick your house's ass! <laughs> Yankee Candles! Kick... Candles in general, kick your house's ass! No, if you're Yankee. gonna have a Yankee Candle, Yankee. you need to get those little candle toppers? Yes. Yeah. Fucking genius! Right. Some guy was like, oh, if I take a piece of sheet metal and cut stars into it, I got myself a solution. It stops the shit from collecting on your house. Yeah. I have black in every corner of my house because we used to burn Yankee Candles like it was our job. Like Dude. our job was Yankee Candle <laughs> QA. You had, the, you had the big one, three wicks. I get shit all over it. We would always go after Christmas. We would go after Christmas. Christmas. Get all the sand, sand, and it was like, sand, Yankee yeah. Candles, 100% hot. <laughs> and you're like, wait a minute, you're paying me? It was so awesome. Do I have all these? And then one, one year, we found a fucking Yankee Candle bag. Full, like you couldn't even hold it in the closet, just full of Yankee candles, <laughs> just sitting in there for years to years. You forgot. Forgot? I do not believe that you can make up that many inch of vagina in that short period of time. You were creative. I'll give you that. But that to come up with Ziploc bag that fast and me to know exactly what you're talking about, you have been on Urban Dictionary and you're lying about that. Come on. Come on. I made that one up. I will say I made up Come on. That's good, well, right? Well, that <laughs> what would that look like? Cohog? What would it look like? Uh, well, I'll explain to you. Here's the problem with Captain Morgan. <laughs> this product has no flavor. 
It's yeah. a spice rum, but it's missing the element of surprise. The spice! <laughs> like, you drink, people buy this in the handles. You go to the store, they can handle this stuff. Yeah. I'm watching them, I'm like, look, watch them go. I'm like, there are thousands of options that you can be choosing from at this liquor store. Yes. You can pick a any of the other Captain Morgan options that exist besides that funny one tattoo. But all the rest of them, besides this and that, fine, great, nice spices. You get cinnamon notes, you get nutmegs, you get things that feel like you're trading in the Indian spice trade. Then they have this. And it's That's cheap, nothing. and it doesn't have a lot of flavor. All the options don't, uh, Captain Morgan's a fine brand. I'll not say anything bad about Captain Morgan. Don't come after me, if you can. Like, Sherry Cask, they're limited editions. Phenomenal products! That should be their run of the lit. That should be their litter of, of awesomeness. It's like when you look at a bunch of little puppies, you're like, that's the one, right? This is not the one. Not that one. <laughs> right. no. This is that, that like, the one that's missing half of his <laughs> arm, and he's limp and weird, and he doesn't have a bark. Yeah. Right, what you really want is a nice aggressive one because that one's gonna kill people that come in your house. Right? Exactly. Here's the problem. Just because something tastes good doesn't mean you're instinctually need to mix it with Coke. Right? Run Coke. Coke fan. Right. I we, love Coke! We used to buy it by the case. I, I, we call Coke and ask him to bring it to the door! Which they would. And they said we're not a commercial establishment and we're a college that we don't own! Right? You're like, well, what are the minimum order? It's not a bad thing. <laughs> I know, like, what's At your minimum? Minimum. minimum? I'll take it! Right? Yeah, like, Pax, it's right over there. You just back it from when you're done there, drive around. No, they, I like Coke! We'll meet you, just deliver more to them. Right! <laughs> the problem is, Something like this, I like this, and when I taste it in the cocktail, Coke is, it's like 14 to 1, like, you have a lot more Coke than you have rum. If you're spending more than $8 on a rum, don't even bother mixing it in Coke. Like, it's just stupid. Think of something more creative to put in. People need to stop going, let's go with Coke, orange juice and lemonade. Make something cooler. If you put Coke, rum, and bitters, I will be 10 times happy. Rum and Coke is what people know. <laughs> so if rum and Coke is their standard for measuring a rum, maybe you should let them put it in the rum and Coke just so they can see that it doesn't necessarily work as well as like their cheap rums. My head's cut off, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah. So <laughs> but it's still funny. You know what? Let them make some mistakes. I could, but I could tell you that if I kick you in the testicles, it's going to hurt like hell. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to fucking kick you in the testicles, well, and you're going to figure it out, and that's how you learn. $15 is the asshole tax. If you're an asshole, you need to get a $50 fine for that. That's a good drink. Isn't that good? Where the hell's my... It's in the garage. God! <laughs> Here's my soapbox. Uh, uh, <laughs> Stop chopping your drinks! Use actual measures! I can be put down at any time! <laughs>